Gardening is, is very, very humbling. One thing that I've learned from my garden is persistence. I would have planted a seed and completely forgotten about it, not given it any water, any nutrients, and then it sprouted, you know? It sprouts and bears fruit and it feeds a community. I was born and raised in India, Chennai, Tamil Nadu. I'm a very, very Chennai girl. I think at a very, very young age, my parents taught me the importance of being multifaceted. They taught me music, they taught me dance, they introduced me to sports. And I think to this date, if I'm known for something, it's like being a jack of all trades, <laughs> you know? But when I was going to move to the United States, our family had grown from just me and my husband to my two kids. Everybody was like, you're going so far away west and you're going to raise your kids in America? Is that what you want to do? I came here with huge expectations of, oh my God, this is a Western country and I'm going to raise my kids here and I don't know what to do. But I think Bay Area is, is just so welcoming that it did give me the perfect balance of accommodating me as an immigrant, as well as teaching me how Americans live. And at the same time, there was a good composition of Indians here, which made my transition and my growth here very easy. Hi, Maitli, I'm Kanaka. Please come. The cuttings are all there. When the my front. second daughter left home to go to college, I was super excited for her, you know, setting up her dorm. She got into her university of choice. I didn't realize I would come back home and have nothing to do. Uh, no bags to pack, no lunches to pack, nothing to do. And I just had all of this energy to give and to do something. Being in the Silicon Valley, I thought the next thing would be to go and work for some software company. You name a computer course, I've probably done it. Uh, nobody wanted me as a fresher at 48. I Googled what job would accept me without experience. And the first thing that popped up was community service officer. Photo Lincoln 7, 1184 on 2nd Street in District I Third, was quite Street. stunned, but the ad just said that if you do this requirement, we will train you, we will put you through the academy and then put you out on the field. When I tell people I'm a community service officer, they don't understand what I do. I'm a non-emergency officer. I take non-emergency calls, stolen vehicles, burglary reports, theft reports. I recover stolen vehicles. I'm also an evidence car. That means I'm specialized in taking fingerprints and DNA. I completely enjoy coming to work and uh, doing what I do. You go out every day and you meet the people in the community, you know? You're meeting them at one of their worst times, but to assure them that um, we will take care of it and we will work on whatever problems they have. That itself is so reassuring and it means so much. Wow, interjection. Wow, interjection. The other thing I do is teach kids from a very remote village in my state, Tamil Nadu. Teach them spoken English. And this started off during the pandemic when schools were not open and the kids were not having any access to schools. And that's something I really, really enjoy because to go back and see these little third grade, fourth grade and fifth grade children come out to me and say, hi, ma'am, how are you? I hope you have a good day. Good night, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Coconut verb, very good. As a teenager, I wanted to be a police officer and I was studying to give my civil service exams to become an IPS officer. 20 years later, after raising my daughters, my husband said, hey, uh, I know you wanted to be a police officer when you were younger. Why don't you pursue that? And I was like, wait, what? I wanted to be a police officer when I was in my 20s, you know? I'm in my late 40s right now. And he said, this country doesn't discriminate, you know, if you're doing what they ask you to do. At least give it a shot. The Sports Services Division would like to recognize CSO Kanaka Guru Prasad, AKA Guru, as we all affectionately know her. If I can do it at 47, I'm sure anybody can do it. And this country, this place, the Bay Area, is such a beautiful place where diversity is celebrated and, you know, accepted. There should not be any holding up to think whether I would be accepted, whether I can do this or not. 
Therefore, you are presented with the Support Services Division BFO Excellence Award. Thank you.